The policy-making arm of the Federal Reserve kicks off its two-day meeting today. We're expected to get a decision on whether or not interest rates will go up. On Wall Street yesterday, the Dow closed up 65 points. The Nasdaq added 25 points and the S&P gained 10. The Wall Street Journal reports Lyft could go public as soon as next week. Lyft revealed plans to raise over $2 billion as part of its initial public offering. That would reportedly peg its market value at up to $23 billion. Its competitor Uber expects to go public later this year. The Trump administration is proposing limits on how much graduate students and the parents of undergraduates can borrow in federal student loans. White House officials included the plan in a list of suggested changes to the Higher Education Act. The proposal seeks to reduce the nation's student debt. And the Starbucks Rewards Program is getting a makeover. The coffee giant currently offers free food and drinks to customers that spend $150, but starting April 16th, Customers will earn points as soon as they sign up for the program. It will also give coffee fans the choice to redeem points as they go for offers like a free espresso shot or a full coffee. The longer you wait to cash in, the bigger the reward you can earn. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Mark Liverman.